All right, everybody. I want you to look at the sequence here and see if you could think of a good way to do it in uh, Johnson Controls. Let's go over it. Um, there's A, B, C, and D, and E. So A, normal cooling mode. Uh, two coils, cooling coils, are operate together to control uh, discharge air temp, 53 degrees. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, but then it gets kind of funky. Uh, first stage of cooling optimization. Uh, coil 2 is going to continue to control to 53 degrees. But coil 1 is going to drop out. And uh, start tuning down to close. Uh, and then the second stage in C... That's when one when coil one is all the way closed, and there's still some VAVs that have heat going on. That's when coil two is going to release from controlling to discharge air temp and start turning down. Uh, caveat is D. If any VAV unit is open 100% and the space temperature is set above set point for five minutes then we're going to go back to a okay we can do this in the vav and just send a signal to the air handler that's that's going to be the easiest way to do that and then e uh we're going to give a button to temporarily override cooling optimization room okay that sounds pretty straightforward lev i've already built this out um it took some time for me to build it out so i'm just going to show you what we did here starting with network inputs we made vav hot 1 through vav hot 10 that's going to be that alarm coming in from the vav to say that it's a uh, 100 percent open and uh, the room set points above uh, room temps are above set point for over five minutes and right here, we got our heating command out, 1 through 10. And we're feeding that guy into this block right here. And the logic looks something like this. Let me zoom out. I'll zoom in a little bit. I'll show you one at a time. So heating greater than 2 is 0. So if it's greater than 0... It's going into this mux block, and when it's true, it's putting out a 1. When it's false, it's putting out a 0. We're adding all the 1s up, and we're doing a greater than or equal to 2. And we're sending the output out as a Boolean state right here. Okay. We also created a button, I think we call it cooling reset, and we did a boolean, right? And we want the to actually normally be on. And they have a button bring this into the front end and do a temporary override to do uh, to turn it off. Here we got our mode coming from here our button coming from there, and then all our hots coming from up here. Logic. So here it is. Any of these goes into a command hierarchy block. What does that look like? Well, right here. We got mode, button, and off. So if the button is false, we want the state to go off. Okay? If the button is true and the mode is true, and it's, there's no hot rooms, we want the state to go on. If the button's true, the mode's true, and we got hot rooms, we want the state to go off. If the mode's off, button's on, we, we stay in regular mode. And that's going out to a cooling reset. That cooling reset is going to a state table down here which turns on stage cooling control. 
this guy right here. Obviously, this this mode's coming from that state selection, and this proportional valve cooling control is actually what used to be tied to this cooling one here. So this is doing all the PID work for us. We don't have to jack with that. Let me just show you what that looks like. A few logic. So we did went with a hybrid activity block. So in off mode. Our proportional valve cooling control is just going out to our cooling valves to maintain discharge air temp. But whenever we go into optimization mode, we got a rate limiter here that's going to knock down the cooling control from whatever the command is, and it's going to start going down to zero, right? And we did change 10 changes a minute. We can we can jack with that. The lower the number here, the slower it goes. And then once this goes down to zero, we come over here to this equal sign. And when this equals zero, we're going to enable this hybrid activity block that we have in here from off to on. When this goes on, it's going to kick in this rate limiter. And then this rate limiter is going to come out to this MUX block, which is turned to on by this equal sign here. And we're going to start dropping cool and cool too. Simple enough? No. I don't know what the engineer was thinking here. Instead of doing a simple discharge air reset temperature uh, based on this, um, I'm telling you right now that there's going to be an increased humidity from controlling one cooling valve separate than the other cooling valve. But hey, this is what the engineer had in mind, so let's give them what they want. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I am going to post a video um, of this, of me going through these blocks and adding it. It just, um, that video is going to be over 30 to 45 minutes. It, it just takes so long to, to do those connections and come up with that. But I know there's other ways of doing this, but this was the simplest way that I could think of doing this in my head. If you can think of a different way, um, then comment below and maybe we can do it your way next time. Thanks.